Hello! Welcome to Endless Mode, and I'm Captain Emoji. Uh, with me today is... Bunchoy the Bard! Eyes of Floor! And uh, today it looks like we're going to be checking out some Injustice 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's just what I had to see Uh I think we're going to do a little bit of the, the verses, and then uh, we'll probably have an episode down the road checking out the uh, story mode, which I hear is... Uh, much expanded over the first one. Indeed it is. Uh, Isaac's been talking it up quite a bit, so I'm very excited to see where it goes from the the initial like opening act that was uh, in Justice 1. Uh, it feels a lot more like a comic book story than in Justice 1. Nice, yeah. In Justice 1 was kind of a was kind of a Mortal Kombat story. Oh, like, well, I mean, there's know, alternate. It was basically a weird retelling of Crisis on Two Earths. Sure. Uh, but this one feels a lot more like a Batman-Superman story. Sure. But I'm just saying that the first one is a Mortal Kombat story because it's grim and it's dark, and it involves portals to other worlds and combatants from those worlds fighting each other tournament style. I mean, it, it, it is it, Never it, Realm Studios. I'm just saying, it did bracket itself kind of as a... You know, Mortal Kombat with a DC coat of paint. Well, you know, we had... Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe Dark before Dark. that. Which was literally just... It was just a Mortal Kombat game of DC guys. In right. Injustice 1, I felt like they were trying to merge the two styles. Sure. And in Justice 2, I just think it doesn't it doesn't remind me of Mortal Kombat anymore. Each iteration is, is getting closer to the source material, is what you're saying. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how was it looking? Uh, so, on the stick is uh, Isaac and Bunny... Uh, Isaac, who'd you pick and why? Dark side, because he's baller. I do not have such weakness. I, I pick characters because I like them from the source material. That's that's a fair point. And uh, Superman's a bad guy, so I can't play him. Ah! I'm gonna probably wait until the end of the episode to badger your bunny with questions about why she picked the Scurricrow. <laughs> Uh, not because he's a bad pick, but I like to hear everyone's methodology. Because I do go off of, like, that's cool. More so than, like, tears or uh, any of that. Uh, I will say that if I can pull off a character's move or combo once in a while, that doesn't hurt my decision to stick with you. <laughs> um, uh, I did get a chance to play for a few minutes uh, a week or two ago, and... Uh, no! Swamp Thing is cool, but I have no idea how he really works. Uh, but I like how he moves. He's got uh, a lot of really neat command grabs. He's really big on spacing and hard reads, like most like most throw characters. Yeah, and that's not my that's not my style. So, as much as I like him, I, I don't see myself playing him uh, at least against you because uh, I have a feeling that I would be at a disadvantage. I hate that your laser does that, because it always changes, and I can never remember where it goes. But they're Omega Beams. That's what they're for. Your stupid Omega Beams. Watch this. I will say that... Ah! I will say that canonically, Stop! his Omega Beams are just ridiculous, and that they will literally Ow! kill... Ow, no! They would literally kill most characters. Uh, magic pill or not. <laughs> Stop! No! Ah, it's so painful. It's so painful. All of that practice does nothing. Uh, well... Oh. If I would say nothing. So, what do you like about Scarecrow? Why is he your, your go-to? Uh, well, first of all, they didn't have him in the first one. And Scarecrow has always been one of my favorite characters. He's a good part of Batman's stuff. rogues gallery. He's always been one of my favorite villains. Uh, but I actually like the way that he plays right now. Because he's he's a bit of a zoner, but he can fight up close. He's, he's got a, some fun tricks. His big chain sickle is... Oh yeah, his chain sickle is It's deceptively awesome. long, and uh, no, I think he's really cool. Uh, I like, like this take on the Scarecrow particularly. He's He is really creepy this go-around, and that's fantastic. Um, I know one of the things that uh, really sold saying? Isaac on it initially was the uh, the character banter. Um, 
uh, as the characters pop in, they, they do, uh, they do good comic book banter. And it is unique depending on the matchup, which is very nice. Uh, they spent a, what I can imagine is a lot of hours in a studio somewhere recording people talking to each other. But more importantly, they spent a lot of time writing those lines so that they felt, you know, as smooth and natural as Darkseid running into Scarecrow is ever going to feel. Um, weren't you saying that a lot of a lot of the dark side villain interactions are basically like join my cause or die you cur? Um, well, the bad guys are typically either I'm a more bad guy than you, or hey, you should be in charge, not this brainiac dude, mm. or uh, I'm a stomp you because stomping is what I do. Sure. And all the bad guys, or good guys, are typically like, Oh no, Darkseid! <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of how it is in the comics, too. I mean, we've talked about it. There's really only a handful of people on this list that, in comics continuity, uh, can stand up to uh, Darkseid. Not even not even talking about who could win in a fight, but, like, who, who can fight for more than a couple of panels without getting, like, crushed. Dark wins. Awesome! It's your go. I lost. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, uh, in the comics, uh, Dark Side's Omega Beams literally never miss. That's that's why they oh, no, dart around no. and do all the of that stuff. The frustration is that I rocked his world the other day, and now I can barely hit him. That's the frustration. I practiced. I practiced too. I practiced more. I, I've practiced quite a bit over the last couple of days. I practice every day. Well, I don't have access to it every day. Alright. So, Captain Emoji taking the stick now. Green arrow. Um, I like Oliver Queen. Black Canary. One, I like the character. Um, I, I realize that a lot of people just consider him sort of a discount Batman. Because he has, like, a gadget system rather than, like, all the gadgets under the sun. Like, I mean, if, if Batman wanted to have a bow and arrow to shoot his batarangs, he could. But it would actually slow him down, considering he just has batarangs that can do most of that stuff. It's true. But, uh, I don't know. I think he's unique. Uh, I mean, yeah. I know he's, he's DC's Hawkeye, but... Uh, I like Hawkeye, too. So I guess I'm just a sucker for, you know, the, the ranger in the party. Uh... I did play a little bit, and I found that his combos make more sense to me than anybody else's. Uh, I think he might be the the training wheels character. I don't know. <laughs> if I if I can figure out how to do a, a move with him, it probably means that it's not too hard. Just because, well, I don't necessarily have the mind for those things. Well, his real strength is that he has unpredictable corner pressure. And can do so from really far away. I like his little dash. I'm sure it means I'm not taking full advantage of him, but I I like his close-up moves and his little dash. <laughs> Where did the tire come from? Sitting on the dolly. Ah. Because you can use your surroundings. Yeah, I mean, he can. <laughs> uh, it's R1. It tells you up underneath your bar. Ah. I always forget. I do too. I also forget that they're like street. There's a. I don't know. What do they call them? Where you can send them to another area. Area transitions. Oh, yeah, so there's area transitions. I always yeah, forget about I'm those. Told, I'm told that the professional guys, like, almost don't like them because, like, their combo is better. <laughs> that is what I've gotten out of preparing that scene. It's like, oh, the, he had got the transition. It's like, isn't that good? Doesn't it mean you hit him really good? But I guess, uh. Well, the reason you that could hit him better if you didn't bounce him. The reason that competitive players don't like it is because it resets the positions afterwards so that you can't continue corner pressure. Sure. And even if their combos break, there's a thing called uh, damage resets where you just loop a combo even though it's not a true combo because 
the stun decay of or the block decay keeps them in the corner. Mm. It's a big thing with uh, acrobatic characters. Ah. Like Harley Quinn and uh, Black Canary. The Joker. But yeah, um, I love the expanded roster. I, I know these guys. They're all really cool. Dead. Fighters approaching I also like the fact that his like shiv or whatever literally just sparks. <laughs> like That didn't find purchase. He doesn't even have to buff that out. No, I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, he took the magic pill thing we that means he doesn't get one-shotted by a punch. But I'm a god. you You're were telling me man. he's still not a super strength character. Not so bad. he doesn't have the strength to push that through. Insane. And I mean, it would have to be—it would have to be a very nice knife to really matter. Ooh, counter. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of these moves are just so OP. Like, not not OP in game. Like mechanically, I think the game actually plays really well. But I mean, like, in terms of what you are doing, like, I know that the next panel would be, and the Joker was dead after like moves like that. I don't care about the magic pill or whatever reason we're giving for why not. Uh, dead. <laughs> so much. Fun of fact, it. Uh, I don't think they ever mentioned the indestructo pill. In really. This game. We just have to assume that it's still there because they're still allowing these fights to happen. Mm -hmm. I think they've just, like, gotten to the point where, like, well, it's a fighting game, so they're gonna fight. Or, we've already made our terrible, contrived thing. Uh, we don't have to ever mention it again because it wasn't the best. So, for those playing the home game, I don't think I've ever actually hit Isaac with one of those unless he's let me to see the animation. Uh, I'm sure that's what the people at home call reading, but, uh, yeah. Like, I should probably find better uses for my meter, <laughs> because uh, I don't think I've ever landed with one, like, intentionally. Well, you beat Darkseid. I did! I did. That was a good match. I almost felt like I knew what I was doing sometimes. I'm, I'm sure I didn't really, but I had an idea. <laughs> um, Fighters approaching slaughter swamp. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm sure there's a way to time those moves better, and I just don't recognize it. And so I might as well just pass a note to him. Hey, I'm going to do this now. Because... <laughs> Super obvious, I guess. I don't recognize whatever my tell is. Much like a poker player probably doesn't know what their tell is unless they watch hours of footage of themselves. Uh, and I'm not going to do that. Well, I can so. tell you if you want. Yeah, sure. You, you typically just throw them out what it's called raw, as in not attached to any sort of combo string. And you typically... I don't know, I don't know any combos. Well, well, typically, when you throw them out, I'm already on the defensive. Mm. So I'm already blocking. So all I have to do is adjust the block to whatever I know the hit's coming for that particular special. Mm. Normally, standing. X is medium attack, right? Triangle can attack. Triangle and X is heavy. Because O is for trade. I haven't really played much. Right? So, uh... If my moveset seems a bit undercooked, it's because I literally don't know what most of them do. Uh, also, I don't know what Supergirl does other than shoot lasers and be super strong. But that's really enough, I mean, honestly. That's all she needs to do. So uh, She suplexes. I'm just pointing out that my moveset probably seems like, you know, anyone at home is like, probably like, God, do her, you know, <laughs> do her three hit combo or, you know, whatever. I don't know it. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe we'll play this again and I'll play a little in between. I don't know if that'll help, but I guess it couldn't hurt. <laughs> but yeah, if some of those seem a little one-sided, it's because 
I've literally gone, hey, that character Super looks cool, give it a shot. I've at least played a few matches with Ollie. Uh, I don't think I played, like, a couple with the Joker. Uh, I think I'm on match, like, 212 with Supergirl. You've been counting? Uh, it keeps track. Oh, does it? Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know, probably played 10 or 15 with Darkseid. I don't diversify much. Well, Bang. nothing wrong with that. Well, I mean, incompatibly speaking, it'll work against me at some point. I really should I, familiarize I, I myself with the roster. I doubt it will hurt you against me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Cat and Cold versus Bane. Got any uh, fun facts about this fight? Um, I mean, I don't think they've ever met. Or if they have, it's in some <laughs> rando comic I've never read. But, uh, I mean, so when I, I, would, I would say Bane's a higher tier villain, and so, so the writers will probably favor him. When I was watching the release stuff for Injustice 2, and they announced Captain Cold, my initial thought was, why is he in Injustice 2? Because they're clearly not capitalizing off of uh, TV show. But it's a different character. Didn't they have a skin for it, though? Uh, not yet, at least. So, uh... Captain Cold. Tell the fans at home something. What? About Captain Cold. Yeah, tell us about uh, the regular guy with Captain just a freeze gun. Go. He is just a regular guy with a freeze gun. That's I don't it. have a That's the Like he's the whole synopsis. <laughs> um I think there's different versions of the character. Like there's versions where he invented the gun, and there's versions where he's literally just a thief who found the gun and then styled himself as a cold based villain. But I mean He's really a dime store Mr. Freeze. Uh, I think Mr. Freeze's uh, cryotech is better. Uh, I think Mr. Freeze's science is better. Uh, he's a Flash villain. Uh, I don't know why, but like Flash, for how cool he is, uh, does not get the best rogues gallery. I mean, his best rogues are probably Gorilla Grodd and uh, Reverse Him. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, when... When a palette swap is, like, the best you can do, I mean, yeah, Superman has evil Kryptonians he fights, but they're not literally reverse Superman, usually. I know there's composite Superman, but that's different. And Bizarro Superman. And Bizarro Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just blue chick kick you? <laughs> Out of his super, too. Well, what's, oh, impo what's important great. there is, is that they went with the more Lucha-style uh, look for Bane. Which is fantastic, Which is fantastic. But I just want to point out that I lucha kicked, like, lucha drop kicked a oh. big giant lucha man in his face. Oh, that was great. I still lost, but I, I think that that might be the, the the moral victory there, is I, I remembered your roots. <laughs> the only way it would have been better is if I could have unmasked you. Because then you have to retire the mask and the persona. You'd have to call yourself something else. That's true. That's the rules. Uh, I actually oh. want to do that one again. Yeah. I haven't really played a whole lot of this guy in... He was neat. I didn't really know what I was doing. That was my second but... match as Bane. So. Nice. Well, but you like you're... grapply characters. I was going to say, your grapple basics are solid. I really can't say you did anything too poorly. Uh, I had a hard time getting in there, and when I did, uh, I generally regretted it. <laughs> so I also don't wait, know what his cold ball does. I assume your... that does something. Oh. Freeze you over time, maybe? It slows you down, I think. Eat meter? I don't know. <laughs> I think it slows your meter. I have no idea. I'm sure it does something, and I'm not capitalizing on Which, it. Which, if it slows Tell your me meter, that is Tell me in the comments what it does. Oh. I'm kind of curious as to what Captain's Cold Super is. I've never seen it. It's uh, pretty neat for a guy with a gun. I mean, yeah. Mine's gonna be I do something with the gun. I think you had every opportunity to do it at that time. Uh, like I said, I don't generally try and do my Super 2 them anymore, because I don't know how to set it up. And so all I'm doing is throwing away the meter and giving him an opportunity to punch me really hard at the end. I would also like to remind you that... ...ball. Hmm? There's a little ball that rolls. Yeah, I don't know what it does. You hit R1 when R1 flashes. Right there. Hit R1. Hit R1. He was. I, I was. But he has to connect. Mm. Like that. Oh. 
That's gonna hurt a oh. lot. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't think I've seen Bane's big super. But I have. It That's... hurts a lot. It's appropriate, though. It, it's oddly oh, man, enough. It auto drains his venom. Oddly enough, it doesn't that makes sense, hurt though. as some of the other ones. Like I didn't have venom active. Uh, well, Bane's big thing is that if he activates his venom, he Bane his wins. damage goes up. But then his venom has to recharge. His everything goes down. So you're supposed to do. It's your... very character appropriate because when he runs out of venom. In the comics, it's either he gets, like, super fatigued, or in some version, he literally shrinks down to, like, skinny 90-pound dude. Um, he's, uh, he's usually a mercenary, and then, uh, Venom is something he used to try and, uh, be more effective. Uh, typically against Batman. <laughs> and, uh, the problem is, is that, yeah, he's now physically superior to Batman. But he loses so much of his, like, base cunning and ability to strategize. Strategize? Strategize, as popularized by, uh, George W. Hmm. He said so strategery a lot. Mm. So at that point, you can, you can now, uh, completely break how that work works grammatically. Because it's not wrong when the president does it. I think it is. I was quoting Nixon. Well, paraphrasing Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, And that's Beatle. as close to political as I'm ever gonna get on this channel if I can possibly help it. Is make some jokes about some old quotes. Cause you know. That's not why we're here. We're here to play some fight mans. I think this is your character. Uh he kinda reminds me of Baraka with those big arm blades. But I haven't figured out how to shoot anything, and I know he can. I wonder what your treat does. Um, yeah, it gives him the big blade arms. Uh, so unless you were talking about Superman, which makes no, no. makes him punch harder. No. I could care less about that. Well, that one I just missed. Oh. Yeah. The other problem is, is I don't know what anyone's moves start up is. Some of them are range shoot a thing, and some of them are half punch. Given that I know he has guns, I kind of thought it might be a shoot start, but it was apparently not. I think almost everyone has a projectile of some sort. Well, yeah, but Black like Blue Canary, Beetles, um, Blue Beetles specifically, Black I know. Canary, her... she got the sonic screen. Yeah. Counts. Well, yeah, and but, like, but Blue Beetle specifically, I know that his armor will generate a big gun thing, and I haven't figured out how that works, but. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> No! Not, not us, not specifically. I was talking about mechanically. I was just talking about that, like, whether it's good or evil Superman, that move will kill most people. I mean, I know that the comic would argue... Oh. The comic would argue that Blue Beetle's armor would protect him, but he'd be pretty, pretty wrecked. Yeah. I am gonna hand the controller back. But he's neat. He's, yeah, I, no, I did not I, figure out how to shoot a projectile the whole time, I'm but surprised his more blade arm moves seem to be cool. Poison Ivy. Um, Supergirl. I liked him. I told you I think she's going to be my, my second, right? And I, yeah. and I do like that they went with the Jaime uh, Blue Beetle mm. as much as I adore Ted Cord. Uh, I do feel like they could make a Ted Cord, Ted Cord skin for one of the existing characters, because... He has similar movesets to a Bat character, as long as he gets his little gun. So, I don't know, maybe if Red Hood uh, works out, they could just make uh, they could make a Blue Beetle skin for him, and it could be the Ted Cord one. Really though, if I if I could have my, my dream character, if they could give me like an early birthday present or something, uh, it would be Blue Beetle. Uh, or, uh, Booster Bolt, honestly. Like, Don't Ted, even know, man. Don't Ted even know why I do this. Ted Cord Blue Beetle would be nice. 
because it's fun. But, uh... Yes, absolutely. I would absolutely love to have a uh, Booster Gold character. Because I love not touching you. This is the... This is the fighting game equivalent of fighting against a blue deck in Magic. No, no, it's not. This is this is a red deck match. You're doing stuff, and not then he's countering. I'm doing nothing. You are hitting <laughs> buttons. You are getting to put stuff. You're you're getting to play land and stuff. Supergirl, but anything else you do is being shut down pretty effectively. Mm, I think. Supergirl's I don't know any of her. Main, so. Oh, Supergirl is his main. Please. And I don't even mean that as like fighting game. I just mean that's his main in general, like in life. Like, top tier wife. Waifu. You can do worse. Oh, that's neat! What? You can you can do the the 112 into, uh, for walking laser. For like uh -huh. 38%. Yeah, this is great! <laughs> How do you hit me? I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I want to know how to summon the minions. That's cool. It's her trait. It's her trait. Oh. Fucking chip damage, man. Excuse my language there for a minute. We only get one of those, remember. PG-13. And I just used it. Now what am I supposed to do? Uh, well, based on how you've been doing so far, I can't imagine why you'd need one except yeah. to say, that's effing awesome or something. I just I can't see a whole lot of frustration. Would, would on you your like side me to stick. not touch buttons? Because I can continue to let you play solitaire here. <laughs> Don't work. Normally I'm really really patient, but your saltiness is making me salty. Whatever. I can I can feel our blood pressure raising because of all of this salt. But um. <laughs> Give me a minute and let me look up her move uh, list. Oh. All right. So that's a lot of buttons. That's a lot of puns. <laughs> Sap slap, low thorn, snap trap, double snap, botanical bash, turning leaf. Oh, um, uprooted. You have double snap, but there's no triple snap. I wanted her to go like full, you know, uh, 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 and then like three snaps. Out of out on the limb, lily of the valley, valley. Evil routine. Oh, these Pretty are great. Tree Petty son. treason. Petty treason. <laughs> yeah. Succulents. Mm. Succulents good. Deal all with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> I respect. Yeah, Buntor, deal, I, deal with it. <laughs> I respect nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. It's Ruin just, the week. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. Relief. Relief. Unbelievable, and this'll hurt. Cryonara. You, you, <laughs> have to, you, have, you have to do this'll hurt at some I point. I don't think I can. Well, that would take a while. Or uh, partially responsible. It's for <laughs> triangle down, triangle square X. It's I, like three I, inputs. Man, I can barely do one. In. So Isaac, oh, hey, that's the thing. So, Isaac, have you played, uh, uh, Ivy at, at all? Uh, a little bit, actually. She's pretty cool. Uh, she's got some neat setups using her minion. Mm -hmm. Uh, so her minion just attacks periodically. Sure. And you can, uh, use that to extend combos. Oh. Ah! So summoning the minion in the middle Thanks of the Thanks for letting me have that one hit. That was, summoning the minion and then, that like, was nice of you. chaining Welcome a new around. combo into it? Uh, well, you summon it typically before you start the combo. Uh, and then... Really? You, there's a lot of practice mode involved there. Because you, you basically got to time the combo with its hits. Uh-huh. So that the hit then extends the combo window. Okay. That does sound kind of okay. difficult Again. this time. I'm going to be honest. Uh, again... <laughs> Would you like to continue playing solitaire? You know. I think if I was gonna pick a summonable, I'd rather have Harley's dogs. Okay, you know how you complain when Zach plays magic? Uh, I don't know. This is this is it. This is it. No, it's not. Yeah. Magic is not comparable. It's to this. it is the same thing. 
You were so much nicer when we're not recording. I don't want to hear it, Miss Black Removal Player. Uh, Can you just play Aristocrats? I did not play Aristocrats. I played zombies. I played zombies. Much better. You should play play Aristocrats. Felix played Aristocrats. Why don't you deal with it? Oh, God, no. Yeah, all of those puns. We're going to write them down and... I didn't pick uh, Pamela Isley to be a like a punster. That's kind of fun. So it just sits there and spews acid breath yeah. until it runs out and then yeah. recharges. Okay, so they stick all around a little longer than uh, Harley's dogs, I guess. But like Harley's got her hyenas and she gets two of them, so I don't know. I, I think situationally, there's more use for Harley's. Or not, uh, for, uh. I yeah, don't Harley's know dogs. any of their moves, so I'm just gonna press buttons. Well, I mean, it is just for fun, so. It oh! Sense it I'm sorry. Tell that to Supergirl here. Well, I mean, she's a Kryptonian, and she didn't get to live on Earth. I get the impression that the Kryptonians were pretty uptight, and don't know what fun is. Good! Perfect. Perfect for, uh, perfect for Isaac here. You have like a 35% there. It wasn't Girl, perfect. Man. Whatever. But no, I just, I've always gotten the impression that the Kryptonians were just pretty uptight as a race. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, I Man of Steel, all dead. the Man of Steel movie definitely made them out to be a, a bunch of, uh, self-important a-holes. <laughs> That's very true. Harley Quinn. Uh, Speaking of self-important a-holes, I think it's time to go back to Dark Side. Well, I mean, you're dead. <laughs> he's so much easier to deal with. I just... Well, I mean, he's also got five hours less training and, you know, a hundred and something less fights. She makes a really neat Lobo reference in there in the intro. It's too bad he's not in here. I'm wondering if we'll get him back or if they're just gonna try and concentrate on getting new characters. Oh! Uh, they've only announced, I think, six thus far. New characters or? Yeah. Deal from the fighter pack. Mm. Mm, let's see, we've got what? Sub Zero, Beast Boy, Starfire, Red Hood. Who are the other two? Uh, possibly Static Shock and Raven. Static mm. Shock would be cool. Not Ooh. Raven, Raiden. <coughs> Who? Raiden. From Raiden. Uh, oh. Or- more combat. Thunder God. How do I use my ass? Circle. Circle. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. The dogs are neat. Mm-hmm. And they recharge really fast. Omega Beam! Guns! <laughs> Zap! Kick! Alright, so. She's neat. She's acrobatic. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing to say, but <clears throat> we're getting there. Ah! Uh, oh. I was curious if the trap thing would work. And so it's gonna throw it literally at your feet, but I wonder if he'll be trapped after this. Oh, no, he moved enough you, that it doesn't matter. You hit him, and his super continued. Doggo, maybe. It's no segue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give that another no, go. No segue. <laughs> well, they don't come back. They, they need to. They need to circle back. Is what needs to happen. They need to play fetch. Like, uh, so they need to play fetch like proper doggos. So what I've seen, what I've seen a lot of Harley players do mm-hmm. is send God one out, and while and if it hits and you know, your opponent bounces, mm-hmm. they send the other one out as you're coming you're down from the bounce. So it bounces you up again, and then you combo off of it. Okay. Uh, the Makes. pro players do that, except they combo in between dogs. Oh, that too. Well, yeah, but we can't expect that of me. I, mean, I am. I'm asking what button it takes. 
I'm I'm not gonna do the master class. Not yet, you know. Or possibly ever. <laughs> His dash is off. Bottom of the ninth don't look good for you. So are the swing traps in the background there part of the background or uh no, I don't think so. So, uh, my combo tech with Derek said it's not the strongest. I didn't notice, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> you doggoed him. I was going to say, I don't know if it helped, you. but it made me feel better. It was close. I just love <clears throat> watching Dark Side on the screen. He's just, just like, I have my hands behind my back. You cannot hurt me, Dave. He he is exactly as pretentious as the comics. Um, I I think it'll be. I I honestly think he should be banned. Not because he's OP, but straight up because I could see him adding to like an already salty match. And somebody literally stabbing someone. <laughs> like, <laughs> just someone losing their mind. Because, like, an, an aggressively salty player mixed with that demeanor, like, you're getting it from, you're getting it in stereo at that point. And I, I could see that just absolutely ruining someone's day. <laughs> oh, like, for come real. on, man, that's such nonsense! All about the dark side. Who <laughs> stabbing you? Wow! Look at Look the at face the Flash face. is making. <laughs> He's not used to getting hit. I don't think he knows how to re react to that. That looks like the face of someone who got hit by Bane. <laughs> that looks like the face of someone who doesn't know what it means to get hit by Bane until right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Being hit by Bane can't be that... <laughs> I've made a terrible a mistake. to your father's memory. <laughs> Begin. That was cool. We watched like three Flash versus he, Bane. He he wiggles. Like I watched you continue to get hit after I stopped hitting you. That's very Flash. That's great. So are, are Flash and Bane pretty popular then? I haven't watched a whole lot of like Wednesday Bane's night fights or anything. Is he? Uh, I don't remember Flash. I think he's mid tier. Uh, I mean, he's he's kind of fragile. Well, sure. I mean, he's not used to getting hit. What did I do? Why did it glow yellow? I mean, I know I used my my thing, but I don't know what it does. My aspect element, whatever. A trait, it slows the thing down and gives you bigger combo windows. Oh. Probably shouldn't have used it then stood there. Uh, Live and learn, I guess. Oh, wow. I just have to be on the floor when that happens, huh? Nope. I don't think you can block it either. I'm not sure about that, though. Well done. He's very fast. That was decisive. I could see him being something of a hard counter to uh, El Lucha Libre over there, just because he is wicked fast. I mean, he's the Flash. I would hope so, 
but I just can't help but notice that he definitely felt aggressively faster. Supergirl. So, uh, as much as I would like to keep playing characters, maybe we'll make this a multi-part series. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.